Hello, Cilaholics, and welcome to another quick tip video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crop to various things, whether it is a shape, text, or a number um, with multiple pictures. This is a part of a series that I'm gonna do on a lot of quick tips and tutorials, so be sure to check out the playlist. If this is your first time here, I do hope that you enjoy the content and will choose to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I release new content. If you are a subscriber, thank you for the support and welcome back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this. So I have a very ba basic shape. I have text with letters and then I have numbers that I'm going to put individual pictures to. Very first one, as far as a shape, we're going to just place it there and send it to the back. Now, you can choose to resize this now and get it closer to where you want, but you can always adjust it in the fill tool and adjust the scale and the pan of it to get it where exactly where you want. I'm gonna try and get this down to where I'm a little bit closer to the size of the box. Once you have it behind it, you're just going to drag over both or you can click on the box, hold down shift. Well, in that case, I click on the image, then click on the box. Doesn't matter which order you go in. As long as they are both selected, then you're going to right click and crop. I'm sorry, I always say right click. Excuse me, you're gonna go over to modify. So used to saying right click. You're gonna go over to modify and choose crop. There are several different places where you can crop. You have here, you have keyboard shortcuts, you can go up to the panel here. I like to use the side panel here and go to the window, uh, the modify window and just choose crop. There you go, cropped to that shape. Very easy, very simple. If you would like to change the way that it appears, you can go over to your paint palette, go over to fill. Once that populates, we're gonna go and click on the advanced drop down menu and you will be able to scale it up, scale it down, pan it right or left, up or down, depending on what you want to actually show. All right, we're gonna click on advanced options. Right now it is showing that it's stretched. I'm going to go to maintain um, aspect ratio. So it goes down a little bit, but now you can scale it up. If you scale it all the way down, it's gonna look like a repeated pattern. So we can scale it up. If I click on pan, that little white circle with the crosshairs in the middle will allow you to move it around. Okay, so that is how you would crop, you know, do a basic crop to a shape. For text, it's going to be the same thing. You can leave it in text mode. You don't have to ungroup the text first. You don't have to make it a compound path or ungroup or anything like that. Now, once you crop to this text, it will no longer be um, text that you can edit. Once you crop, it becomes a path and that text cannot be edited. So I would suggest if it is text that you want to or a font that you want to maybe um, write other items in or you know make other like, oh, excuse me, redesign other parts of your designs with that same font, I do recommend that you make a duplicate. Easiest way, hold down Alt on your keyboard. This works for PC or Mac. Drag and click it, well click and drag it up and you've made a quick duplicate. You can also right click and choose duplicate. You can um, crop it, I mean, excuse me, copy it and paste it as well. So for this one, I'm just going to pull this um, background behind it. I'm gonna send it to the back just so that I can see where it is. Again, I'm gonna just size this to fit edge to edge. And maybe I want it to go up to where I have the flowers. With this particular design, I will note that I cannot get both the flowers and the sun ray because of the orientation of the picture. There's just no way to get both. So I would have to decide if I wanted more of the flowers to show or I wanted more of the sun ray to show. So I'm gonna pull this up here closer to the flower area, right up there to the edge. 
and we're going to drag and select. Even though I have two lines here, it is still text mode. So it will select both parts. I don't have to worry about selecting both. And then we're gonna go to modify and crop. Now, when you crop, the one thing that you will notice is that all the letters have individual boxes around them. You want to make sure that you group them together. You have to group them together. If you use weld, it will do nothing to it because they're not touching. And if you use make compound path, it will take away the color and you'll have to kind of start all over. So with this, you want to control um, G, command G on a Mac or right click and choose group. That is how you would crop two text and keep it all together. When it comes to cropping to um, cropping individual pictures to individual letters or numbers within a string of text, you do want to ungroup them first and then place your image, select it and crop. We're gonna place the image, select it and crop. And we're going to flip this a little bit. Um, certain images may not work because it will kind of cut off like their face and things like that. So you maybe want to move them around. We're gonna place this one. And I also did it this way to show you that you don't necessarily have to go to the back. I originally went to the back so that I can see exactly where I was making that initial crop. But you can leave it in the front and crop as well. And let's bring this one here. I'm going to purposely leave this one very large so that I can show you how you can resize it using the advanced properties in the fill tool. So we're going to just drag up and select and we're going to crop, right? I'm gonna come over here to the paint palette. Let's zoom in, go to fill. And with advanced down, I'm going to go to maintain aspect ratio. So it's gonna automatically shrink that down to kind of fit within here. I can use my pan and move this over to where I have her on the other side of that opening. Uh, but doing that, it will create this part where it's starting to repeat the top. So that's where we increase the scale so that we have just the bottom and she actually fits a little bit better in that space. With this one, I'm going to attempt to pan her over if I have enough image, but you know, you see there that it's gonna start to repeat. I can attempt to scale this up to where I have her face nestled right there in the corner. Um, you know, this can be kind of weird with that too going right there in her face, but you can see how you can move things around and modify them within the number once you have it cropped there. You can also flip it. So maybe, you know, you have an image where it'll look better on the other side. We're gonna do that with this zero. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip it and just pull her to the other side because maybe um, the other way, uh, you know, didn't have enough of her or, you know, with the horse, depending on what number or letter you're putting in there. Just want to show you that you do have the option to flip it um, and you don't have to flip the entire thing first or come out, flip the picture. You can do it within your advanced options. And we can scale this up if we wanted more of her, maybe less of the horse, we can pan it. A lot of different things you can do to customize your designs. But hopefully this video helped you understand cropping a little bit better in Silhouette Studio. If you have any other suggestions for quick tips or quick tutorials, feel free to leave them as a comment below um, and I will try to fit them in. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, comment on this video, share this video. All right guys, until next time, have a great one.